Ghana dear nan so ye beko Nigeria ni akodi nkomo kakra e Nigeria ni nyina ne se abato aye ba beto no Ghana hanu mu no Nigeria so fo so abawura mu ye pa na we e Nigeria di fo ba ko e na okasa na o kire se obowura Ghana e wo sunsum mu na sunsum no wura mu e wo Ghana no e hu se asori ana ensori e wo Ghana no emu achemienu ana se e di fo a e wo Ghana no emu achemienu and watch it say, I didn't go pon a chili. And I say, I sorry, a be sorry, a tea, a sorry. And I said, no, some emu a betem, you know. Or say, or a hanum say, or barber can do bidding queen him, or about to him at the achre. Now about to an inti, and I'm my gana, a sorry, and I say gana a deep for emu a tem, you know. Or so I catch him plain, any plain fat. And say, do bidding queen him, or no mum, then you're coupon at dine the achre, no. Na do be din kunim no eno so so na Ghana for empeno na de Ghana for peno no de enyo no ene yakopon so peno nemu de yakopon peno no ono na e be din kunim o se o ka chemu plate enye plate fa se mo ma abato o eno nti yakopon asafo yakopon ahinie emu achemienu yakopon so echiwade ene se na hinie mu ebe chemienu o to aso ono eno se Ghana aso fo na bompaye e de ama eh nipa nipa bi na sai ni pano ma bompa ya dia mano no saa sofo ni nsemu nyina no me nko a efi ni kikawa ene ewo saa asofo ni nsem o se he omu sem ade papa bie ni omu sem into a ka kire plain enye plain fa se ni a gana edi for e fre no do mu se ego ni so bompa ya mano no enyo ne bedi nko nim e san se ono de ai on sem fata ade nyakopon apo no nyakopon ensa mfa enye ne bir bibie na yakopon apo sa adifo ni nyina yakopon apo sa asofo ni nyina yakopon ada na chi e dia masa adifo a omu fre obi e bo mpa ye e de ma no na waka chem plain enye plain fa se he do be din kuni mu no ono ha ono yakopon ada ni a chen oboni din na ne momye nko ne ko hwe video no ne yanhwe ni pakora oboni din aha e yo bien for radio see victorious people of god good morning and win today, win always in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so glad to bring the word of the Lord to you concerning Ghana presidential election, and which is coming up on the 7th of December. And today, I want to talk to the people of Ghana. Hallelujah. And I was in Ghana, and, and spiritually, I saw a lot of contention that is going on right now in Ghana. Praise God. And I saw how the churches have divided themselves. You know, I mean, the pastors, the prophets in Ghana, they have divided themselves because of this uh, presidential election that is coming up on the 7th of December. Hallelujah. And the Lord spoke to me concerning this election. And by the grace of God, I'm here to deliver the message and to also declare and to reveal the winner of this presidential election. Hallelujah. I am God's prophet, Caleb Dickenat, the celestial voice. And if today is your first time coming across this wonderful and prophetic channel of God, I want you to help me to subscribe to this channel, share the video, comment and don't forget to like the video hallelujah and stay connected for more divine blessings of god glory to god and so i was in ghana and i was observing the the prophetic realms and i saw you know the kingdom, I mean, God's kingdom, divided into two against themselves.
just because of the election coming up on December 7th. And while I was watching everything from the celestial realms, and the Lord spoke to me concerning the election. And don't forget, God will always reveal what the future holds to us. It will give us a picture of the future. And so that we may not be thrown into confusion. Hallelujah. And it is very important that I, I let the people of Ghana to understand what the future holds. Glory to God. Ghana should not make the same mistake Nigerians made by hating Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad because he is a Muslim. Those pastors who prayed for John Mahama, if they are not if they are not standing right with God, their prayers will not be answered. Just like what happened to Nigerian big pastors who prayed for Peter Obi, thinking he will win the election, and Peter lose the presidential election because those pastors they were not in right standing with God. Hallelujah. They were not in right standing with God. So this man called John Mahama. This man. And the Lord said to me, those pastors that lay their hands on him to pray to him, they have no capacity. They have no authority. He said because he has rejected them. He has departed from a lot of them from their altars. The mistake that Peter Obi made was for him to go to the wrong pastors in Nigeria. For him to go for the wrong pastors that God has rejected, that God has departed from the altars. They prayed for Peter Obi. They pour oil upon him. They say, you are going to be the president. We are, we, we, you know, we are behind you. Yeah, praise God. But unfortunately, what happened? There was, there was an, an, an authority somewhere that suddenly established this man called Tunubu. Hallelujah. And so, John Muhammad, if he wants to become the president of Ghana, let him locate somebody, a pastor, a prophet that God is still with. Because as I'm speaking to you right now, people of Ghana, I'm seeing Dr. Muhammad as your president. I've been watching this from the celestial realms. I've been seeing this over and over, even when I was in Ghana. I watch everything, how the election was connected. Let me tell you something, it's going to be peaceful. Most of you, you think the election is going to be brutal, but it's going to be peaceful because God Almighty is going to take total charge and control of this election. And as the Lord has involved me, we are going to send at least 10 million angels to Ghana to take charge and take control. So the peace of the Lord is going to reign. So while all these were happening, and I saw that a lot of people say, you know, a lot of pastors of prophets, they prophesied that, you know, John Muhammad carries a light, okay? And the Lord said to me, he said, the light can be transferred. The light can be transferred to the same man that people of Ghana, all the Christians hated. They don't want him to become their president because they believe that. Is not going to do the right things for them. But the light can be transferred into this man. Because I'm seeing that John Mahama has already lost the election. He has lost the election. And Ghana people, the president I'm seeing is this man called Dr. Muhammad. Because history is about to repeat itself again. Where the vice president will become the president. Don't forget, 
It happened in the past in Ghana. The vice president become the president. So this time around, your vice president shall become the president. And this is going to be a big lesson to Christendom in Africa as a whole. Always make sure that you align with God. Because God is the giver of all things. The same sun that shines upon the righteous also shines upon the unrighteous. God cannot hate anybody. And God has not authorized you and I to hate anybody. If you hate someone that God loves, God can change his mind towards this person and favor the person. Just to prove to you that he is a God of all. He loves everyone. So people of Ghana, once again, your president, I'm seeing from the celestial realms. The man that's going to win the election on the 7th of December. His name is Dr. Muamia. And this man has already won the election. He's already there as a president. So Ghana people, the Lord want to teach you how to love. Don't fight a man because you believe that this man has no capacity to do what you want him to do. Always learn to pray for his will and stand for his will. And this will teach a lot of people and the young ministers coming forth for we to understand that you must learn to walk with God. Align yourself with God. If God departs from a man, that man will lose authority, will lose power, power to establish, power to, you know, to become, power to win, because God has departed from such a man. And when you are with God, the Bible says, one with God is majority. You become a major. You have your voice become a major, and you will have the power and authority to establish, to uproot. <laughs> so this is what the Lord shows me. And I know that the election is going to be peaceful. And it's going to be surprising things to the people of Ghana. That the person they are expecting to win the election, which is John Mahama, is going to lose the election. And the person you never expected to be the president or to win the election, that's the person that's going to sit there as a president. Hallelujah. Glory to God. His hands has been lifted up already. I'm seeing his hand being lifted up. I'm seeing him as a winner of the presidential election. So people of Ghana, you must understand what the Bible says. And God said, Jacob, I love, but Esau, I hate. It is God that chooses who you need to choose by his mercy. Hallelujah. So people of Ghana, let the will of God manifest and stop fighting yourself because all your pastors, all your prophets, they have divided themselves just because of election. Exactly what happened in Nigeria presidential election. The same thing that is happening in Ghana. If pastors, I mean the Christendom, divided themselves and they are fighting themselves because of the election, you should know that the other side who are not fighting themselves, they are united in love, in peace. These are the side. That's going to win the election. While you are there fighting yourself, prophets are fighting the you know fellow prophet and pastors the same thing because you believe that you have the power to prophesy. You are you see more than others, and so because of that, you guys are fighting yourselves. And this is what the Lord says to me: that while you are fighting yourselves, 
who you never expected to win the election is going to be your president. <laughs> Hallelujah. People of Ghana. So this is the word of the Lord for people of Ghana. And the Lord has spoken. And I can say congratulations to Ghana people. Congratulations to Dr. Muamia. It is well with us. It is with the people of Ghana.